So yesterday, Domain Tools, which is a company that uh, collects uh, basically who is information, newly registered domains, has released a list of all the domain names that sort of have words like Corona, COVID, Wuhan and such uh, as part of uh, the domain name. And uh, what we did here is we built sort of a little classifier that makes it easy. If you just uh, click on the link here, that's isc.sans.edu slash COVID classifier.html makes it easy uh, to sort of figure out, you know, uh, what these domains are. So uh, let's just look here at the federal corona relief.com domain. And what you see a very typical, essentially a parked domain. It's not really used for anything, but of course it could become something more sinister very quickly. So let's just mark uh, this one as a parked domain. Now, I want to show you a couple more interesting ones that we already sort of came across here. Uh, first one, uh, AlgeriaCovid19.com, targeting Algeria and offering things like chloroquine and such for sale. Uh, so uh, that's uh, one definitely sort of on the fraudulent side. Uh, also interesting, uh, Corona Millionaire. Uh, dot life uh, let me make sure that I got this spelled correctly I'll see it yep uh, it uh, offers investment advice around uh, the coronavirus I probably wouldn't take necessarily the advice haven't really uh, exactly seen how they do it uh, but apparently you know, they kind of want some money here uh, from you uh, so that may be uh, their uh, little uh, twist on it um, I also have seen uh, tests for sale, uh, for example, COVID-19 test-shop.com. This particular website here offers a test kit straight to your house, where you apparently are able to test yourself uh, for uh, the uh, COVID-19 disease or uh, the SARS-CoV-2 virus uh, for a low price of $479, well, uh, down from $580, so almost a deal. Uh, if you go through it, they'll ask for uh, then for Bitcoin uh, for payment, of course. Some a little bit more bizarre things. Uh, there is a fatality rate. Sorry. Um, rate calculator uh, where you can calculate how likely you're going to die of uh, the coronavirus. Uh, not really sure if there's a financial motive here. I don't really see any ads or anything uh, like this. Maybe this will come next. Uh, they also have other uh, tests like your uh, love test, a Chinese gender predictor, and all kinds of weird uh, kind of tests and such uh, that they offer on the site. Now, uh, one thing that we have seen a lot in uh, recent disasters like that is lawyers actually setting up a shop here. And uh, one law office where I've seen a number um, of um, ads already here, Philadelphia Lawyer, uh, dot lawyers com. So, sorry, Phil Philadelphia, Philadelphia Corona Lawyers dot com. Um, he had redirects uh, to uh, this particular law office, uh, also ChineseVirusLawyers.com uh, also redirects uh, to the same uh, office. So they're apparently already sort of getting started with like no lawsuits about a vaccine or whatever. Uh, so uh, that seems to be somewhat uh, their uh, business uh, model here. Well, anyway, if you are interested, we really could use some help here uh, with the classification. Uh, so again, uh, that's the isc.sans.edu slash COVID classifier dot HTML. And uh, you'll also find a link here on the homepage, at least for uh, today. You have to log in in order uh, to participate. And uh, please let me know if uh, there's anything I can do to make this a little bit easier. Uh, I'll be working on this a little bit more and uh, trying to add things like little screenshots or stuff to the side so you don't necessarily have uh, to open them. Uh, let's just look at another one here. So there's another sort of a parked site waiting uh, for uh, someone to actually uh, take it over. 
And uh, anyway, so any kind of scams or so you'll see, um, please you know, let me know. And uh, you can just submit them here via the contact us uh, link. Uh, you can also upload uh, screenshots, files and such if, if you come across anything interesting. Thanks and uh, stay safe and stay healthy.